Janadi Munienko says he's been delivering aid and has rescued hundreds from uh, towns outside of Mariupol, but he can't get inside the city. He has no idea the status of his church or congregation where people are sheltering. He says, I spoke to him just before airtime. Pastor Monienko, thanks for, for joining us. I understand you've been evacuating people on buses today in eastern Ukraine from villages around uh, Mariupol. You're not able to actually go into Mariupol. Can you just talk about what you have seen, what you've been able to do? We, we see the hell. We call it Russian hell in my country, in Ukraine, because uh, some months ago, we have amazing, beautiful city Mariupol nearly see so beautiful street. We prepare for spring. Uh, so many amazing homes and many people who smile. But right now, my city completely destroyed through Russian intervention. Uh, Russia uh, have huge battle inside my city. They oh, they block it my city around completely 100%. Just five minutes ago, some, uh, someone uh, told me, a friend of mine told me, uh, nearly my church, uh, right now we have tanks, tanks battle. Thousands, thousands, thousands of people was killed. Nobody knows how many people. Maybe 10,000 civil people, maybe 20, maybe 30, maybe 40. Nobody knows because Russia blocked all information uh, from my city. You, you've said about 300 people were sheltering in the basement of your church in Mariupol. Have you had any contact with them in recent days? The last five days, we don't have nothing, not information, not one call. And uh, we try uh, go inside Mariupol with my car's convoy, but Russian soldiers stop everybody and don't give them chance to go inside city. And we don't have one information from Mariupol last five days. But we know people who sit on the basement don't have food, don't have water, don't, ho don't have a uh, heating system. They, uh, they don't have nothing, medicine, nothing. Uh, no light, no electricity, no, nothing. They just sit on the basement uh, 44 days in crazy situation. How, how many people have you been able to get out from neighboring towns uh, outside, around or near Mariupol? Nearly 500 people we evacuate from Mariupol, but right now it's not possible. I have many friends of mine inside city right now, inside Mariupol, and I don't know who is alive, who, is, who, who was killed. I don't have information from some of my adopted son, you, but you, also I have some, some crazy information about, about my friends. You, you, you have had dozens of adopted children. I think, I, is it, how, how many adopted children have you had over the years? And I understand you lost one of them, uh, a, a, a young woman of 27 was, was killed in Mariupol. Yeah, I, I had 35 adopted children just two weeks ago. Uh, but but one, one my adopted daughter, she was, the, the Russian soldier killed her two, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. She was 27. She was amazing, amazing girl, uh, young mother. And uh, three years, boy, her son. I adopted her when she was 10 years old and she grew in my family. She was with me in the United States of America, in California, in Oregon State. Just three days ago, I saw some pictures. Mm. And R Russian tanks uh, shooting directly to her apartment. And uh, it was government, Ukrainian government give this apartment for her one year ago. And uh, she was so happy. She have personal room for her and her son. 
she, we remodeling a little bit this and we bought buy some furniture. She was real, real happy, but but Russian army came. Pastor Monienko, I'm so sorry for the loss of, of your daughter and, and, and so many others and your friends and so many of your fellow countrymen and women. Um, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for talking to us. Final, final.